and sit down. Welcome back, Ravers. Raven here. Uh, I had a request for the Frozen Justice. Someone got it as their very first Reborn item. They wanted to know what a good setup would be for the Frozen Justice. I toyed around with it here and there. Uh, this is the best setup that I can do as if it were your very first Reborn. Let me remind you though that the beginning of the setup could easily be set up as a circle setup, which I do have a video that is for circle setups uh, that I posted previously. I can leave a link down in the section below. Below. You can go ahead and follow that if you want. It will save you a little bit of cash because you won't need as many of the like Freon Blasters or the Orbital Upgraders or any of those kind of uh, repetitive upgraders in the very beginning section of this that you would use. Go ahead and click that and it will show you exactly how I would build this circle build to add to the beginning of this before the Schrodingers. After the Schrodingers, everything has to be set up the exact same way to get the same output. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So starting off, we're going to have the Super Unobtainium Mine. We've worked with this before. The Masked Man sells it. And then we're going to go right into the 15 Freon Blast Upgraders. They're sold in the store so those are easy to get. You're going to see that it's going to start blinking towards the end so it's going to be different for each ore. You're going to have to kind of toy around and figure out exactly how many you need for each ore. Then you're going to move right into the flaming ore scanners. I use three of them. You really don't need to but you will have to use a mini ramp in order to hop onto the middle section of the conveyor so that your Freon Blast Upgrader can put the fire out otherwise you will lose your ore. Then you're going to have 30 portable advanced upgraders. Again if you're doing the circle setup the numbers are going to be much lower and then you will need three orbital upgraders again those are also sold in the store you can only use three of them do not go over in excess one industrial or welder can be powered permanently by only four normal coal mines that you buy in the store i use 10 schrodingers here you can use up to 15 it will get you a higher multiplication then you're working on the three ore zappers, a little ramp to put it up through the three ore zappers. You can only use three of them. If you were lucky enough to get a code item or you've spun it, you will have a twitch powered upgrader. Then you want one ore replicator to replicate your ore. And as you can see, we're already making a decent amount of money. As I was saying, you can only use three ore zappers, so only use three of them. The Twitch Power Upgrader, you can either get a code for it that was given out uh, as long as it's still active or it's a spun item now. The Ore Replicator is great for the bigger ore because it would duplicate it as it falls through the little green patch. So if you're working with smaller ore, that's not going to work. You do need two Fire Flamethrowers at the very end. Actually, you really only need one, but I use two. You can use as many as you want as long as your ore gets to the Frozen Justice before it gets burnt out. Uh, you need your ore to be set on fire before it goes into the Frozen Justice. This will give it a very large multiplication. I do believe it's times 18. But pretty much this is the full setup of how I use it. Uh, I've gotten, you know, trillions to little cues as I call them. It's it varies based on however much the Schrodingers will multiply your ore. Again, being very low in your rebirths, you really do need to rely on the Schrodingers still, unfortunately. So they do give out random costs, but the more you upgrade your ore before it goes through the Schrodinger, the higher cost it will come out the other side of the Schrodinger, if you're lucky and it doesn't decide to screw you over. So as you can see, I am getting a very different costs of ore right now but i am getting some qd and as long as you're using the bigger ore as i said you will get the ore replicator to work with it so that you'll be getting double what you would get normally so this is my setup for the frozen justice i do hope that you like it uh if you did like it please go ahead and give a thumbs up if you're new here and you want to become a raver go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you have some tips or tricks or you know something about the frozen justice that i haven't quite figured out yet again i'm still new to this furnace i never really used it so any tips or tricks that we could pass along to one another help each other out that's great go ahead and leave those in the comment section below we very much appreciate it uh, i would love to build a community for those in Miner's Haven to get together and work together and kind of build more of a friendly community. Being in the mindset of RUL, which is Ready Up Live, it's one of the friendliest gaming communities that I know of. I absolutely adore them. Uh, I've met some really great friends through there. Definitely go check them out if that's something that you're very interested in. But until then, I love you guys very, very, very much. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Live, die, respawn. Bye. Shut up and sit down.